Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine, and I want to talk about an airline we haven't thought about maybe in a while, but Pan Am, World Airways. It stopped running in 1991, yet we are here celebrating the legacy of a, of a really, really f uh, exceptional airline. And so we're going to talk about not only the celebration of Pan Am, but how it lives on and how you can sell a bit of that legacy for a commission here on Insider Travel Report. For most of the 20th century, Pan American World Airways ruled the skies, shrank the globe, and led the way in evolution of commercial aviation worldwide. Nothing compares flying aboard a Pan American flight. Glamour, premium customer service, traveling to far-flung exotic locations to define the allure of Pan Am and set the standard for the industry. Join this unique celebration the Pan American World Airways legacy, tracing their transatlantic routes. We take this chartered aircraft, JFK to Bermuda, to Marseille, to Lisbon, to London, to Ireland, all in unparalleled luxury and comfort. We've been doing this for almost 10 years, traveling the world on a private aircraft. It's the only way to see the world. It's the best way to see the world. Come and join us. We're here with Gary Bartlings of Bartlings Private Jet Tours. That's correct, yes. And uh, we are in front of, take a look at this plane. And so, Gary, I want to ask you, uh, how did you get involved with Pan Am in the first place? I've been in aviation uh, in all my tourism travel career and Pan Am was always one of the airlines we looked up to. And of course, sad, 1991, it, it, it finished. It, it didn't continue to, to operate as an airline. And in 2019, for the first time in a new business I worked, my own. Selling private jet tours already. We were, we were selling private jet tours, the, the classic bucket list type of programs with our clients. And then we started talking about something a bit different. And one of my colleagues said, what about Pan Am? And I remember saying, what about Pan Am? And they said, that's an amazing aviation legacy to be celebrated. And we went, sure, what are we gonna do? And that's what we did. We, we researched it and we came up with a tracing the transatlantic tour, celebrating Pan Am. But Pan Am is a trademark. You can't just do Pan Am, you have to get involved. Tell us about that procedure. That is totally true. You, um, when you start thinking about visiting places of the world, you just go ahead and do that. Here we're going to say, we're going to put a brand, a well-known brand on this. This is a label we're going to put on it. What do you do with that? And, and that's, we had to do a lot of research. And we then came across the owners of Pan Am Brands. And we said to them, what we'd like to do is put that on an aircraft and do a tour. And I must say, they were going, oh my. And we said, we can do this, what we do. This is our business. And then they came very supportive. And they said, we love the idea of it. It's great for the brand. What do we need to do? So you, you can't do this alone. So the first partner had to be Pan Am. And then who else did you pull along with you? Our experience is in doing these tours. But of course, you had to get the right aircraft for this. We've got relationships with a number of these aircraft operators and we start we started to talk to a company which is a division of Iceland Air. They have VIP aircraft. Commercial airliners converted to create something that's a bit special. And we start to talk to them and say, this is what we'd like to do. It's got to be Pan Am. How, how do we do this? How do we make this something that people go, this is like Pan Am? And now their eyes open. So everybody you talked to, it was probably just the, like the Bremontown musicians. They all want to join up. Absolutely. And that's exactly what happened. Because suddenly people went, hey, Pan Am, wonderful. I remember them. I hear the legacy, what they delivered and how it worked. Are, are you going to be able to bring that back? And we went, we're going to try and we'll try to bring something flying that is as close to what Pan Am used to do over 30 years ago, because that's one of the things that people forget. Things change, regulations and laws. I want to talk more about your partners in a moment, but we're still talking about the jet. 
So what kind of jet? Because you're pretty proud of that. We, um, as I said, we, we, we went for a uh, converted airliner. This is a Boeing 757, which is actually quite a, uh, a regular aircraft that's used for this style of travel. And we wanted to work with a partner that had experience in doing this type of travel. And that was the division of Iceland Air. They've done so many of these programs over the years, more the bucket list type tours. And we said to them, this is what we like to do. And they came on board very quickly. And tell us about uh, Steve Ridgway and Criterion Travel. How does that fit into the picture? Steve Ridgway, Criterion Travel, absolutely critical to the operation of this program. Um, we are the expert of creating this. We're the experts of delivering it. But you need a well-established, trustworthy partner to be able to bring it to the people that are going to buy it, the people that are going to sell it travel agents, travel companies. Distribution. Absolutely. Critical. And if I think about Criterion Travel, we've known Criterion for over 10 years. Established, trustworthy, particular, picky, but that's exactly what you need for something like this. Great. So let's talk about what you're planning. There are two trips next year. Mm -hmm. It started with one that got sold out and explain how that all took place. It was extraordinary. We. Um, we finalized our agreement with the brands and we said, okay, well, so we, we can now go public. And we said, oh, that's first thing we're gonna do is just get a press release out, which we did. Phone rang off the hook. This was like extraordinary. That happens from this video too. <laughs> yeah, well, well, hopefully it does. Yeah. Um, there is still space, but it was just phenomenal. The first departure after just over two weeks was sold out. 50 seats at almost $60,000 a head. Gone. Commissionable. Absolutely commissionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the thing. I, I've always said this type of travel for a, a travel planner is just so easy. So easy. We do all the work. Just sell it to your clients. So let's talk about the trip. So you, you combined two Pan Am trips. And, and, and tell us where, they're go where you're going to go. Yeah. Well, we, if you look at Pan Am's legacy, they had so many unique journeys, unique destinations. And we said, okay, well, let's, look, let's go back, way back. Let's talk about the flying boats. And Pan Am was pioneering. They decided that they wanted to connect East Coast America with Europe. They had a lot of competition, other airlines, countries, government-owned airlines trying to push them. And they just went ahead and did it. And we said, well, that's something to be, to be celebrated. They had a southern route, which was the first one they operated with passengers, paying passengers, and then the northern route. So we said, let's combine them. We got inspired by it. We're not replicating it. It's hard to replicate things years later, but we're flying from JFK. There'll be an aircraft there with the Pan Am brand Delivery is Pan Am. Oh yeah, it will be Pan Am livery at JFK in June next year. And it will be operating to Bermuda. It will go to Lisbon. It will go to Marseille in the south of France. And we have some really interesting inclusions and highlights. Then we fly over to London to connect to the Northern Route. Now the Northern Route ended and started in the south coast of England. We decided to stay in London. Then we go to Foynes in Ireland, which was one of the flying boat bases. It's still there, the, the, the estuary, the tower, and there's a museum. And we're going to finish the tour in that museum before we head back to New York. It's going to be an incredible journey. Then, I mean, uh, hopefully you, you sell these two out and you're going to keep, uh, hopefully you'll have future plans. Let's talk about that. We have lots of future plans. Um, 2026. Pacific, another area that Pan Am is pioneering. 2027, it will be 100 years of Pan Am. Would you believe it? 100 years. So we're thinking of a circumnavigation. We're going to go around the world on a very special journey to celebrate that legacy. 
any, anybody who knows Pan Am would definitely want to take part. Uh, I think Jules Verne would have wanted to take part, go around the world with you guys. Um, let's do a call to action. We go out to 127,000 travel advisors every day. Cool. Um, how can they get in touch with you and, and start to plan? The, the easiest way is to go onto the uh, Criterion Travel website, which is criteriontravel.com slash Pan Am. Can't be easier. Go on there, you find all the details of the itinerary, the pricing, details on how to contact Criterion Travel to make the booking. It's very straightforward. Travel advisors are going to look at their Rolodex and they're going to try to figure out who should they sell this to. Uh, what would you tell them? I would say to them that Pan Am is not only a legendary aviation brand, it's an American brand, it stands for something. It's coming back to commemorate. You've got to be on it. And you do disservice to your clients if you don't at least give them the choice to go on this tour. Thank you for talking to us and good luck. Thank you. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.